Superstar. There's a reason why we grabbed that umbrella. The sky is falling! We got ourselves a spirit charm, but the sky is falling! Uh, get a one up. Now the umbrella will protect you from anything above your head, pretty much. Minus a Gordo or some boss attack or something. But now we don't need helper anymore. Bye bye. No, no, stop that. Ow. Give me my umbrella. Alright, only let's see. One more? Yeah, one more part to this damn cloud city. And fortunately, it's without enemies. Nice power up room. Two one up, some maximum tomato, and some random goodies. Eat all you want, Kirby, fat bastard. Alright, let's get out of here. Warp Star! Go! Go! Oh. Show you that. <laughs> That's what I meant to show you. We only have a few more treasures left, so let's get them all. Here we go. Warp star, come on, don't crash this time. Don't crash. Crap. Damn you, game. Alright, one third of this area done. Let's save up and move on to section two. That's right, I'm using save states now. I don't trust myself. Okay. Another cannon section. Wow, you're bad with Andy Kirby. Shame on you. Alright. Bounce off to the upper right, and we get ourselves a Pegasus wing. That's right, Kirby boy. Okay. Let's play cannon tag some more. You're it! Okay. Ow! Play nice as shit. Okay. Get ourselves a nice healing tomato and suplex. Bugsy, we meet again for the first and definitely not last time. Ow. But what he did right there, the reason why I killed him so quickly, is because he unleashes two little ladybug creatures whenever he stops like that. Here, I'll grab suplex now. But anyways, when you suck up two or more objects, which I'm pretty sure I think is two, you will get a more powerful star attack, which is... It kills things a lot. Anyways, we got ourselves suplex, so we're gonna show off various moves here. Now, depending on what button you press after you grab somebody, it enables a variety of suplexes. Something I didn't use, but I use more in the DS version, you can use suplex things as weapons. That's right, if you grab a minor enemy and throw it into a boss, it'll do some damage. And I also use the front ability for going downstairs and stuff really quickly. Anyways, maximum tomato and a one up. Yeah. And we're like two peas in a pod, aren't we, Helper? Hey, why haven't it killed Helper yet? Is it perhaps that I like my Helper with an umbrella? He is a fair weather friend, after all. A shell whistle. That's pretty nice looking. Okay, ow. Oh no, aww. Bye bye, Suplex. Okay. We have to get ourselves a different power up soon, anyways. Got food. Want some coffee? Because you don't. My little parasol friend doesn't like Starbucks. Alright. Anyways, crash ability. Remember the trick I showed you earlier? Yeah, we have to use it to open a switch. Because the switch is underwater. Very few things can open that underwater. But anyways, we get ourselves another treasure. The Ori Halkin.
Or is that a Ori Calcum? Oh well. Either way. Look at that. We're almost done collecting all the treasure in this little game. Look at that. Two more to go. And we're going to find that in the last area right now. Come on, warp start. Are you going to crash? Are we risking our lives every time we jump onto you? Yes, we are! Huzzah! Okay then. Let's save up and continue to the final portion of the Great Cave Offensive. We're almost there, folks. We're almost there. Yay! Now, this last part is going to try and trip you up with everything the game has. Fortunately, we have a parasol to shield ourselves from danger. It's a nice man. That's why Kirby has a grapple move with the parasol too. It's actually kind of useful. Again, you can use the thrown enemy to do some damage. Hey! I needed that cutter. I'm just really bad at aiming. You son of a bitch! Stop that. Stop it. Kimmy. There we go. Anyways, for cutting different sections of this part, we're gonna give ourselves one of the final secret treasures and some other goodies. There's the one up down there. Don't need that. So we're gonna skip it. To cut the right one, you have to go back out and click it. Same with this third one right here. We got the platinum ring. This is an anniversary of sorts, isn't it? <laughs> Cut this last one, no problem. So what do we down, down here? We have ourselves an ice man and a tomato. This isn't the last tomato we run across, but this will get us through the last part at least. Go away, helper. Nobody loves you. And I don't really need this for this next part, but we're gonna need it. Alright, down. Yo-yo! Come here! Come here, yo-yo! Come here! Woo! Remember, I never really noticed it, but... Whenever you put on the yo-yo hat... Look at that! You're a Ness. You are so Ness. It's not even funny. Way to go, Kirby. Good job, Al. Good job totally making me see things I didn't notice when I was a kid. Anyways, all these springs will send you right back to the top of the area, so... It's a little trial and error here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. And we have ourselves the final treasure. What is it? What is it? Oh, you didn't. <sighs> okay. Oh, whenever you do have the sword, you do have Link's hat. So I guess we need the Triforce too. Anyways, the final boss room, where we're going to head in next time. I will see you all then. Catch you later.